for the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Little girl, when I can't. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Monday's workout. Um, I just first wanted to just uh, talk about, uh, I know everyone's been posting up on the social medias about what you're looking forward to, what you're missing about the box and I've been having to think about it because I wanted to come um, authentically to me and what's really come into my mind is that I miss being inspired by people with uh, sort of different things that you guys do. So uh, whether it's you know some of you you know come in and they just smash it out, like Trey inspires me. But also the the mums that come in and you know they've got it tough, they bring their kids in, they get the job done. You know people that come in and even the beginners they come in and they just make such an effort. And I love I love that. I love seeing you guys do your best and walking out with a smile and. Seeing you all hang out for three hours afterwards, just chatting away, you just know that you guys love being there, and that you know makes us all coaches and Chris and Jen feel really good. So I think we all miss that. So really looking forward to seeing you all again. Um, let's go through Monday's workout because we've got some juicy thrusters coming up. We're going to get you warmed up, especially in your shoulders. So we're going to do three rounds of this for the warm up, starting with a 30 band pull aparts. Really focusing on keeping your arms down, shoulders down and back and really getting a nice bit of extension through the uh, thoracic here. Now when you do that, make sure that you go into full lockout behind you and if you haven't got a band, you're going to do um, a floor version, you're just prone on the ground and you're going to just extend it through the arms. Going into 10 Kozak squats here, so you go as deep as you're comfortable, alternate until you've done 10, so left, right, left, right. Go as deep as you can, don't push it, don't overextend into your knees. If something hurts, don't go any deeper. And then you're gonna run or row for two minutes, whatever you've got uh, access to or choice of. Easy, three rounds of that. Then we're moving on to strict fran, fran. I don't know, strict fran, we're gonna call it strict fran. 21, 15, nine, 15, 21. So we're going down and then back up in reps. Double dumbbell thrusters. Fast legs, extend, punch up. You really gotta get fast in the thrusters so you don't burn out quick. With the, the double dumbbells, if you haven't got two dumbbells, you can use two kettlebells instead. If you haven't got that, use one and then you can just alternate the size. If you want to take it up a level, you could, for example, just do 21 on your left and then 21 on your right so you get a double the amount. So that's entirely your choice. And then strict pull-ups. So use, use what you've got for your strict pull-ups. If it's a bar, bar or a ring, great. If you haven't got that, set something else up. You could even use a rack. If you've got the rack at home and then put a, a barbell across and do some pull-ups there or ring rows as a scale. Good luck with that. And then finishing off with some body armor. So the body armor today is focusing on Bulgarian split squats. So or we'll just call them split squats. They don't have to be Bulgarian. Um, basically, with the, uh, with the split squat, when you set yourself up, you've got to make sure that depending on your height, you're not, um, you know, haven't got your back leg raised too high or too low. So you want to be able to get a nice deep one-legged squat. But if you're a short person, and I'm kind of like borderline, then you don't want to be using a massive step, okay? You want to find something a bit lower. So get the right height. What you're going to do is start with your left leg, for example. You're going to do 30 seconds, just static hold in the bottom of the split squat. And then after 30 seconds, you let go of that weight and you just do max reps for 30 seconds. And you swap legs and you do the same on your right. 30 seconds static hold. Drop the weight, 30 second max reps. And then now you've done both legs, you rest one minute. And you see repeat that for three rounds, okay? So up to you what weight you use. You can use dumbbells, you can use a plate, you can use two, you can use a barbell, whatever you want. As long as you're really getting that stimulus in the 30 seconds and it doesn't just feel like body weight. Cool? So you're gonna load, deload, max it out. And that is your Monday workout, peace out. Came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer come. What for? Train.